Hello ladies and gentlemen, Scare Tip here bringing you another Minecraft World War 1 tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be going ahead and building the 42 centimeter Creuset Marine Canoe 14L-12, or known as the Big Bertha Howitzer. Big Bertha was a German siege howitzer built by Krupp AG in Essen, Germany, and fielded by the Imperial German Army from 1914 to 1918. The M. Garot had a 42 centimeter 17 inch caliber barrel making it one of the largest artillery pieces ever fielded it was first designed in 1911 and entered production the next year test firing began in early 1914 and the gun was estimated to be finished by october when world war one broke out the, the two available m garot guns uh still provided or still prototypes were sent to liege and destroyed forts ponense and lacan German soldiers bestowed the gun with the nickname Big Bertha, which then spread through German newspaper to the Allies who used it as a nickname for all super heavy German artillery. The Paris gun used in 1918 after the Big Bertha had been removed from service has historically been confused for the M. Geralt. Due to losses from faulty ammunition and Allied counter battery artillery, a small caliber 30.5 cm 12 inch gun called the, the Beta M. Geralt was built and fielded from 1916 until the end of the war. It had a longer and heavier barrel that was made to or made it to the M. Geralt's carriage but was found to be less effective than the base gun. So yeah, the Big Bertha howitzer here, quite a beast of a, of a gun. Um, when you look at this compared to some of my other vehicles and just like the overall scale and size of this thing, this thing is absolutely massive. This thing is firing 17 inch shells which are absolutely massive. If I remember correctly, the guns on the Iowa class battleships were 16 inch. So you can just imagine this is an inch bigger than the shells that this thing is slugging. Um, so that's crazy. I really like the design of this artillery piece. I think it's really cool and just kind of screams World War One overall and just its general design and kind of, you know, formatting. And I really think it looks super cool. And I'm, you know, happy to finally do a redesign for this tutorial, which is been sitting around on my ch channel uh, an old version for a very long time so if you guys do enjoy this new design um anyways let's go and kind of jump in here to taking a look at this thing and just kind of going over it so obviously we have the carriage itself which is this giant uh tracked system here um it has a pretty interesting system so it looks like it sits on wheels here obviously this thing would probably be towed or had the ability to be towed i don't imagine what monstrosity would tow this thing after just the sheer size of this but uh, theoretically something very big um, and then we have basically this rail system here on the back which allows the gun to traverse and change it to kind of pitch um, uh, aim wise uh, we have basically the gun here the recoil suppression systems and also just uh, front gears and little um, support legs and stuff like that which could be extended downwards and just very little instruments and stuff like that on the front uh, we have the big wheels here, obviously, for the carriage. As we move up here, we have the actual loading area. So this right here is where the 17-inch shells would be loaded into the uh, breech for the gun. And we can see here we have a shell that's kind of in mid-loading uh, with this uh, giant crane here mounted onto the side of the carriage. Overall, really cool design and going to make an awesome addition to your uh, World War I battlefield. So as a really sick-looking field howitzer. Could even put it in like attacking forts and stuff like that. Either way, this thing is going to be a beast and really make an impression on your maps. Anyways, let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by beginning with our first layer. Alright guys, so go ahead and move into our first layer, we'll be going ahead and start with layer 1. For layer 1, we're going to go ahead and start building with the base. Now this gun it was uh, usually used on the base, I couldn't find any references or anything like that regarding that the gun was not ever used on this base, and it makes sense as this is a nice concrete foundation to support this big gun. So I do highly recommend building this with the base, um, though theoretically you most likely don't need to, but it definitely looks good with the base itself. Um, anyways, let's go ahead and get started with it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to place down a row of five here, and then we're going to use mixed match blocks. We're going to use stone, uh, stone brick, and andesite to go and make like a different color pattern here. We're going to go and do a second row directly after that, and again, randomize our blocks like that. We then want to place down one block, going back on both sides like so. And after that step, we're going to then place down a stone top slab coming off the side of this one here and then the narrow stone slab going forward again we're still mix matching our blocks here like that so going forward on both sides we're going to then place down an iron trap door coming off these two blocks or, or two slabs like so and we're going to then take yellow concrete here which is just a block that i like to use to count because it stands out from the build and we're going to delete it later we're going to uh, skip a space here iron trap door skip a space and an iron trap door 
So it should look something like this here for the front. We can go and also delete any of these blocks and we should have a design like that for the front there. After that's done, we want to go ahead and then count back from our blocks here. So we're going to go to the middle space here. We're going to count back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight blocks back. We then want to go ahead and place down a row of five of stone. So we're just going to be going ahead and using our various stone blocks here to create a randomized pattern. We then want to go ahead and go up or forward and out to the side and we're going to do the same thing and same thing over here as well. So you get something that looks like this here for the back. After that we want to go ahead and take our slabs. We're going to go ahead and basically follow the outline here of slabs. Again randomizing our slab usage. And like that all the way across the back there. After that's all done, we're going to then take iron trap doors. We're going to place down iron trap doors coming off these slabs here. Going all the way across. And once we have that done, now right there is going to complete our base here for the gun. We can delete any of our blocks that we used as uh, counting blocks or placeholder blocks. And with that, that's it for this layer. This is what it should look like from up above. And with that, let's go ahead and move into our next layer, layer number two. All right, guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer two. For layer two to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to place down a stone brick upside down stair on top of this stone block. Going back from that stair, we're going to place down a stone brick wall, and then an area upside down stair going back from it. We're going to go ahead and then go to the sides here to these slabs, and we're going to place down two iron trap doors on top and one iron trap door on top of this one here. We're going to do the same thing over here on this side. So, stone brick upside down stair here, a stone brick wall behind it, and an air stone brick upside down stair, and then our three iron trap doors across those blocks right there. Once we have that done, we're going to then place down an Arabic fence post, which is going to go on top of these two iron trap doors. And going back from that fence post, we're going to then place down a chain to both sides. With that done, we're going to want to go and then grab ourselves a dark oak fence gate. We're going to place down a fence gate coming off the side here of these stairs, and we're going to have them opened up toward the outside. And a dark oak sign coming off the side of these fence gates, like so. Once we have that all done, we're going to then take our iron trap doors and coming off of, or going from the iron trap doors, we're going to go. And go basically back one and then inward and we're going to place down an iron trap door like that followed by a second one back same thing over here so just like this we then want to go and place down a row of two of stone slabs and we're going to then place down a stone brick wall on the left side and the left side only coming off the side of this stone top slab uh, once that's done there we're going to also take our stone slabs and we're going to place down a row of two here in the center once that's done we want to go and then take our stone stairs. We're going to place down two stone stairs like this, coming off the slabs to the sides. And in the middle space here between the stairs, we're just going to go ahead and fill this in with two stone full blocks. After that, we want to go ahead and place down a stone brick upside down stair, come off these two stone stairs on the back here, and then a stone brick wall there in the center. We're going to go ahead and grab our randomized slabs again, and we're going to place down a row of slabs on top of the top slabs. So we're going to go ahead and again just kind of randomize this around the perimeter of the gun like that and that right there is going to basically complete our base and with that done um that is going to basically wrap up what we have here for this layer actually one last thing um also for a little bit more detail here on the system or the track system which this does slide on we're going to take uh, some iron rails and place it down here on these stone blocks like so and with that all complete that is going to wrap up what we have there for layer two for the build and with that let's go ahead and move into layer number three Alright guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer number 3. For layer 3 to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to go to our wheels here. We're going to place down a chilled stone brick block on top of the, or chiseled, yeah, chiseled stone brick block on top of this stone brick wall. And then a stone brick wall to both sides of that block like so. Once that's done, we're going to go to the space in between these and we're going to place down a row of stone brick walls going across like that for the axle there for the gun. Behind those three blocks, we're going to then place down a row of three of stone full blocks. Now for this front section here, we're going to then place down a chain coming off these two stone brick blocks, or two stone brick walls here to both sides, and also coming off the chiseled stone brick, we're going to place down a granite wall to the side, a wither skeleton skull, and then an acacia wood sign on both sides of the wall. Same thing over here as well. Like so. Now once that's done, we want to go and then grab ourselves some end rods and skeleton skulls. We're going to place down an end rod that is going to go on top of these two narrow brick fence posts here. We're also going to go ahead and place down a skeleton skull, come off these two stone brick walls, and in between those skeleton skulls, we're going to place down a row of three of end rods. Then come off the skeleton skull to the side, we're just going to place down a skeleton skull, 
come off those to both sides and then an end rod on top of those skeleton skulls. Like that for the front detailing. With that done, going back to this section here, we're gonna go and take our stone blocks and we're gonna place down a row three across. We're gonna go and then place down a dark liquid fence gate on both sides. We're gonna have it open up toward the outside. So just like we did for the previous layer and a dark liquid sign coming off it like that. Again, for the ladder here, that's gonna lead up to the gun. Once we have that done, we're gonna take our stone blocks. We're gonna place down one, two, three, and four blocks down the center here. We're gonna take our andesite walls, which we'll go ahead and grab real quick from here. And we're just going to place down a row of 1, 2, 3, and 4 andesite walls, and then 1, 2, 3, and 4. Now over here on the left side, we're going to go ahead and then go on top of that stone brick wall there, and we're going to place down a narrow brick fence post for our crane. After we have that all done, we want to go and then go to the other side, and the other side here we do have a little um, instrument or a little thing that we're going to put on the side of the cannon. Um, so for this, super simple. We're going to go to the side of this wall right here. We're going to place down a skeleton skull. We're going to then go back one and two end rods, followed by a dark oak fence gate, come off the side of this wall. And then come off the fence gate, we're placed down an iron frame with a cobweb in it like that for this little gear or valve or something like that on the, the um, gun system. When that's done there, we're going to then take a stone stair. We're going to place down a upside down stone stair right here. And again on both sides here, come off that and side wall. And then a stone full block there in the center. Going ahead and going back from this, we're going to place down a stone stair to both sides here. And then we want to place down a stone slab in the center in between those stairs. Once we have that done, we're going to then take a stone brick slab. We're going to place it down on top of these two stairs here to both sides. And we're going to place down dark oak with signs here on the sides of these slabs, just like that. And after that's all done, we're going to then place down our stone brick wall right there on top of that one like that for the back there. And with that all complete, that is going to wrap up what we have here for layer number three. Here's what the gun looks like from up above here so far. Make sure to take into account the two different details here on both sides as those are kind of uh, important to keeping the accuracy of the build. Uh, but other than that, that's going to do it for this layer. Thank you guys, or, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Yeah, we're done. Uh, nope, we still got a little boys to go. Uh, let's go ahead and move on to layer four. All right, guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer four. For layer four to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to go ahead and place down a stone stair on top of this skeleton skull here, and then one more going toward the inside. Same thing over here, like so. Once we have that done, we want to go and then place down a stone, or sorry, dark oak fence gate like this in the center here, between those two stone stairs, and then a dark oak fence gate coming off it, opened up toward the, um, the uh, fence gate itself there. We're going to place down an item frame coming off this fence gate with a cobweb in it, and then to both sides of this fence gate here, we're going to place down a skeleton skull like so. After that's done, we want to go and very simply take our stone blocks. We're going to place down a row of three of stone blocks going across, like so. And, uh, yeah, row three there. We then want to go and go to our wheels. We're going to place down a stone brick stair on top of our stone brick walls there for our wheels. And then a stone brick wall, of course, behind the stairs like that going across. Same thing over here on this side as well like that. Once that's done, we're going to take our stone blocks. We're going to place down there row three across and a uh, third row of three. Like that to finish that off there. When we get to this point, we're going to then take iron trap doors. We're going to place down iron trap doors on top of this granite wall, and then one more iron trap door back. Same thing over here on this side as well. Once we get to this point here, we're going to place down our dark oak fence gate on top of this one here, and again have it opened up toward the side. And same thing over here, fence gate open up to the side here. Get off the fence gate, we're going to place down a dark oak sign, and same thing over here as well. After that, we're going to go ahead and take our stone blocks and place down a row of three of stone blocks across, followed by a second row of three. After that, we're going to go ahead and place down a stone stair to both sides here. Actually, sorry, a row of three of... Or no, my bad. It was actually a stone stair or a space there in the middle. So leave that space there in the center. Um, after that, we're going to go ahead and place down a stone slab to both ends. So we'll grab a slab here, go back from the stairs. And we want to go and then place down two iron trap doors there in the center. After that, we're going to go and then place down another iron trap door here. And then on top of these walls, we're going to go and then grab ourselves a end rod and place down an end rod on top of these two uh, inset walls like that. After that's done, we're going to go and then place down another end rod on top of these two stairs here. And we want to go and then grab a dark oak fence gate and place it down on top of these slabs and have it opened up toward the outsides. And on the sides of those fence gates, we're going to place down a dark grid sign like so. In the space in the middle here, we just want to go and grab ourselves a oak wood trap door and place it on top of that stone brick wall. 
And once we have that done, also we're going to be going ahead and adding a skeleton skull, which is going to be on the left side on this stair right here. And also on top of this narrow brick fence post here, we're going to place a nice stone brick wall. Again, only on the left side. On the right side, we don't have anything going on here, except we're going to take iron trap doors and place down two iron trap doors right here along this stone block and this stone upside down stair. And with that all done, that is going to wrap up what we have there for layer four. And with that, let's go ahead and move into layer number five. All right, guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer number five. For layer five, to go ahead and get started with here, what we want to do to begin with is we're going to be going ahead and grabbing our andesite slabs. Now, for this, we want to go ahead and place down an andesite top slab, which is going to be on top of this uh, dark oak fence key here. And then coming off of it, we're going to place down a skeleton skull. We then want to go ahead and go back one, two, and three of those top slabs back down the center, like so, and we're going to place down a skeleton skull here on the end. Now once we have that done, uh, we're going to then take a stone stair, we're going to place down a stone upside down stair to both sides of the second slab, followed by a second stair coming off that stair, just like that to both sides, and then lastly we're going to go and grab a stone top slab and place down a top slab there on both sides, and that's going to finish the gun shield here for this layer. We then want to go ahead and grab a lever, and we're going to place down a lever here, Coming off these stone block or the stone backs of the stone upside down stairs, and we're going to have the lever flick downwards like that to basically make the front there. After that's done, uh, we want to go and then grab inside walls. We're going to place down one and two inside walls on the side here. Same thing over here, one and two, and then come off those walls. We're going to place down a stone stair to both sides. We then want to go ahead and grab ourselves a dark oak wood fence key. We're going to place it here on the side of this stair and have it open up toward the outside of a dark oak wood sign on the side of it. Also, on top of this stair or this stone brick wall here, we're going to place down an iron trap door on both sides there. Uh, we want to go and then go over to the left side and we're going to do the or the right side, do the same thing with our fence gate. So, fence gate here going up and a dark oak sign. Once we have that done, we want to go and then place down an end rod on top of this skeleton skull here. We're going to place down an end rod on top of this iron trap door, fence gate like this, opened up toward the back. And we're going to leave that as is for right now. We're going to place down another brick fence post on top of this stone brick wall here. And then taking our iron trap doors, we're going to place iron trap doors uh, on top, or basically right here in between these end rods, followed by a skeleton school on these end rods to both sides. We're going to go then place down a row of three of iron trap doors. And then again, a skeleton school here on these end rods on the back here. And then an iron trap door in the center, and then we just want to place down a row of three of iron trap doors across the tops there of those uh, fence gates and trap doors there on the very back. And once we have that all done there, that is going to basically wrap it up for this layer. Also, one quick adjustment I want to make from the previous layer is we're going to place these two stone blocks here with two stone slabs instead. And um, anyways, once we have that all done, that is going to wrap it up there for layer five. And with that, let's go ahead and move into our next layer, layer number six. Alright guys, go ahead and move into our next layer, we'll be moving into layer number 6. For layer 6 to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to go and take stone stairs, we're going to place down 1, 2, 3, stone stairs, 1, 2, 3. After that, uh, in the center here, we're going to place down a stone brick upside down stair, and then a stone top slab coming off the upside down stair like so. Once we have that done, we're going to take iron trap doors, we're going to place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Iron trap doors going forward there for the barrel of the gun, or for the beginning of it. Going ahead and going back from it, uh, we want to go ahead and then place down a row of three of stone full blocks across like this. After that, we're going to go ahead and place down a stone full block here in the center, and then a stone stair to both sides, like so. We're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a polished andesite, and we want to go ahead and place down a polished andesite full block to both sides, followed by a polished andesite upside down stair. And in the space in the middle here, we're going to go ahead and very simply. Uh, replace this stone block here with a stone brick upside down stair and then coming off of it we're going to take some polished andesite top slabs which we'll go ahead and grab and these are just going to come off of the stone brick stair with one and two top slabs going back like that after that's done grabbing our iron trap doors we're going to place down one two three iron trap doors right here a dark oak fence gate come up the side of the stair and we want to go and then grab ourselves a item frame we're going to place down an item frame here and like we've been doing in our item frames we're going to place down a cobweb in the item frame just like that 
Now, once that's all done, uh, we want to go and then go over here to the right side. Right side, we don't have too much going on here, except uh, we're just going to go and take our iron trap doors, and we're going to place down two iron trap doors on top of the end rod, and one on top of that fence gate, like so. Over here on the left side, we're going to go and place down a stone brick wall on top of this snare brick fence post. And once we have that all done there, that is going to basically wrap up what we have there for layer number uh, five. And with that, let's go ahead and move into our next layer, layer number six. All right, guys, go ahead and moving into our next layer. We have layer number five here. Now, for layer five, we're going to go and start off our barrel here. We're going to go, and go to the second iron trap door here. We're going to place down a black concrete block. We then want to go ahead and go back with it with stone full blocks. And we're going to go and place down one, two, three, four, five, and six stone full blocks like that for the barrel going back. On the last two blocks, we want to go and grab andesite walls. We're going to place down two andesite holes like this on the sides here, those two stone blocks. And then at this point right here, um, it kind of depends on what your version on. So if you do have access to a Minecraft debug stick, we can go ahead and use this debug stick to go ahead and basically uh, create a pretty cool uh, design here, which basically uses the debug stick here to actually close the iron trap doors, as you can see here. And we can go ahead and use it to close it. It creates a nice design for the barrel. Now, if you do not have access to it, I do recommend using dark oak wood as a substitute, as dark oak wood does work pretty good. Um, that's probably your best bet here for the scenario. But if you do have access to the debug stick and you can do this with iron trap doors, I definitely recommend it because it looks really good. Anyways, that right there is going to do it there for our barrel for this layer. Going ahead and continuing on, we want to go and then place down a uh, stone full block here in the center. We're going to go and then grab ourselves a stone stair. And we want to go ahead and place down a stone upside down stair here. Then one and two upside down stairs over. So this stair right here is going to turn into a corner stair. And then we have two stairs out to the sides there, like that. Going back from this, we're going to go and take our stone brick blocks. And we're going to be placing down a row of three of stone brick blocks across. And over here on the left side, we're going to have a skeleton skull. And on the right side, we are going to have a skeleton skull as well. When we get to this section here, we're going to place down a stone brick block here in the center. And we want to go and then place down a stone brick wall to the sides here of that block. Then on the very back here, we're going to place down a stone brick uh, stair, which uh, I'm going to grab from right here. And we're going to place down a stone brick upside down stair here on both sides like so. Also on the left side over here, we're going to place down a dark roof and fence gate coming off the side of this, um, on the side of this wall like that. Now, once we get to this po point right here, uh, we also can change out this stone brick block here for a black concrete block if we do have the gun breach open. So, since we'll leave the gun breach open, we'll go ahead and leave it as is like that. After that's done though, uh, we do want to go ahead and go to the right side. And we're going to place down an iron trap door on this polished anti block here. An iron trap door facing this direction and using our debug stick, we're going to go ahead and open it. We're going to place down an iron trap door coming off of it. Again, using our debug stick, open it, and then an iron trap door on top of this one like so. Again, if you do not have access to the debug stick, you can go and use, just use dark liquid trapdoors in uh, their place. Now, once we get to this point here, uh, we're going to basically start work here on our crane. So for our crane here, uh, we're going to place down a grindstone, which is going to go ahead and go on top of this stone brick wall here. And we want to go ahead and place down a dark liquid or an item frame with a stone block in the item frame on both sides of the grindstone. And we're going to place down a dark liquid sign on the side of the grindstone as well. And that right there will basically create this design here for the crane. And with that all done there, that is going to do it for layer number six. And with that, let's go and move into layer number seven. All right, guys, so go ahead and move it into our next layer. We're actually moving into layer eight. So for layer eight here, we're going to go and start off by taking our iron trap doors. We're going to place down a iron trap door uh, above the space here. And then we want to go and go back one, two, three, four, and five. So you have a row of six here. And we're going to then follow this up by placing down a row of two of stone slabs. So one, two stone slabs back, actually sorry, one slab, and then a stone brick stair. We're going to then place down a stone slab behind the stone brick stair, and a narrow stone brick stair right here. Now to the sides here, we're going to grab ourselves stone stairs, we're going to place down stone stairs on top of these stone upside down stairs for both sides for the gun shield. And then after that, uh, we want to go and then go back to this section. Now on the inside here, we're going to take our inside walls, we're going to place down two inside walls going back on the sides there, a stone brick block here in the center, and we want to go then place down a polished anesthetic block coming off that stone brick block, just like that, and then a polished anesthetic stair to both sides of that block. Then we're going to place down a 
end rod, which is going to go on top of this skeleton school here to both sides. And once we have that all done there, that's going to pretty much do it for that. Now right here is where we get into the crane portion. So for the crane here, you can have this facing three directions of your choosing. You can have it facing this way, which will bring it across this section here. It's perfect for if you do want to have the shell being loaded into the actual uh, you know, gun breech. You can have it facing toward the back here, which is good for you know, raising up the uh, bomb there, or the, the shell. Or you can have it facing down to the side here, which is good for, again, kind of grabbing, um, you know, some kind of shell for, from a cart or uh, one on the ground here and lifting it up to put in the gun. So you do have the options there to kind of pick and choose what you want to do here. Uh, for this, we will go ahead and have it facing toward the outside. So for this one, we'll just kind of have it staying off to the side here. So any, either way you choose it, you're going to have your stone brick stair and the back of the stairs is going to be facing the direction you want the crane to face. We then want to go ahead and go off the stair. And we're going to place down a lever. And that right there is going to basically decide what direction our crane is going to go in the next few layers. So we're going to leave it at that. Um, again, this right here is going to face toward the outside. Having the stair face backwards here is going to face toward the rear. And then having it face backwards this way is going to face toward the inside. So again, pick and choose what you want to do there. That right there is going to uh, wrap it up there for layer 8. And with that, let's go ahead and move into layers 9 and 10. Alright guys, go ahead and move into our final layers, we have layers 9 and 10. For these layers, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to go ahead and place down a stone brick slab on top of the stair here. And we're going to then place down a, grind, or a skeleton skull coming off of it, and a dark oak with sign to both sides of that slab. We're going to place down one more slab back, which again is going to have a dark oak with sign to both sides of it. And we're going to go then place down a row of 1, 2, and 3 uh, stone brick slabs going back like so. After that's done, we want to go and then take our stone slabs, we're going to place down a row of one, two, three, going across from this stone brick slab to both sides there. We're going to go and then transition to stone brick top slabs, and again, three out to both sides. So just like this. And we want to go and then take iron trap doors, place on the back here of those stone top slabs, and then we're going to place down iron trap doors on top of those three iron trap doors, and also one on top of this stone brick slab like that for the, again, the gun shield there. After that's all complete there, the last thing for us to do here is to go ahead and do the crane. For the crane, super simple, we're going to place down a stone brick uh, slab here on top of this uh, lever. And then coming off we're going to place down a grindstone. On both sides of the grindstone, we're going to place down an item frame. And we're going to go then place down a polished anti block in that item frame. Like so, with a dark oak wood sign coming off the sides there of the grindstone. Now at this point right here, uh, we can go ahead and then do our chain and the the uh, shell here. So if you do want the shell being loaded into the cannon breech or uh, just have the shell on the crane itself, we're going to need some polished granite, some chains, stone buttons, uh, dark oak fence gates, iron trap doors, and also a granite wall and a skeleton skull. Now for the uh, shell here, if you have it in the breech, you're going to go down one down from this granite wall or this uh, grindstone. You're going to place down your granite block, granite, one granite block going back, your granite wall, and then your skeleton skull is going to be like in the breach as so. Now if you do have it wanting, wanting to basically raise it up, I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So for this you can go ahead and go how many chains ever you want to go down. So let's say we'll go down to this, this level here. We're going to go ahead and place down our polished granite block, like so, and then we're going to place down one toward the back. The shell is going to be facing with a... Uh, stone button. Now actually if we think about this logically here, this crane would swivel around so the front of the shell needs to be facing toward the rear here. So we're going to place down this granite block going back and a stone button here. We're going to place down our granite wall and our skeleton skull. And again this crane would turn, would rotate and basically we raise it and slide it into the uh, breach there. So we'll have it about hanging right here. We're going to place down a iron trap door on both the top and bottom here of this back grindstone block and also the top and bottom of this wall. On the sides here also we can go ahead and place down iron trap doors and we can close them again using our debug stick. And that kind of creates the braces there that go around it and basically hold the, the shell and that right there is going to basically do it for that. Um, it's a pretty simple design I know uh, you'll just take this and you can have it whatever direction you want, whatever space you want. 
Um, so you kind of get some options to play around with it. So you have it kind of lifted it from a cart. You can have it being actually loaded into the gun. Um, if you have a couple of these in one area, you know, maybe alternating uh, the guns and their different loading uh, times and stuff like that or whatever. Um, but yeah, pretty cool stuff. I think the gun that came out really good. Hopefully you guys do enjoy it and are able to put good use if you use this design to ask you guys give me proper credit for it. This can be a thing from a son the build to my channel or this video if this does appear on your social media sites. As long as you guys give me proper credit for the build, you're free to use it for projects you guys are working on. Overall, enjoy the build, have fun with it, and all that fun stuff. But other than that, thank you guys again so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Gary 2 and I'll see you guys next time.